my robots have been coming in like extra clutch. Um, and here's the thing. I've actually, I like, I kind of partly stopped upgrading them, uh, and I just ended up spending a lot of the currency on things. I actually maxed out Jackhammer, and I maxed out Gem Finder. We have Gem Merchant maxed out. I could probably, I could max this out right now. In my Gem Enchants, I actually maxed out Whisperer. All right, we went ahead and voted. For the next 30 minutes, I've got four boosters going on. A, what is it, like a 50% token booster, I believe? A 1.5 times token booster, a two times crystal, gem, and also pickaxe XP booster. But we are going to be doing a massive opening, like I said, and I think I will be doing some giveaways as well in this one. It feels weird, though. Like, I, I kind of wish I hadn't upgraded all those enchants. I mean, I am glad I did as well, but also because I have no nothing for me to, to do, to work on. I'm just mining. I even maxed out my, my miner as well. I ended up matching, uh, maxing out his what hit me enchant. Actually, sorry, scratch that. I do have one thing that I can do that I totally forgot about and pro no, I didn't show it. I actually went through and I grabbed every piece uh, of the mortar that I would need to upgrade two things on it, which I want to actually do today. It's, it's kind of just a little bonus goal that I want to do because the main goal is the opening, but I wanted to get some other content in here. So if I go ahead and throw all of this in here, hold on, let me throw it all in there. Fire rate once, and then it does get slightly more expensive, but now you can see that it is a 0.010% chance. I don't know the max level. It is pro like a lot of effort. I probably could have done it. It's a lot of effort to try and get all the parts and upgrade this, I'm not doing it. Um, I can't upgrade this one, but I can upgrade this one, uh, which will give us a uh, better enchant. But I should probably m maybe swap from the prestige pet to the um, rank up pet at this point. So my prestige is in a good place. 25, that's a much higher prestige than I've hit like any season. Quiver activates actually pretty frequently, but I don't think it's giving me anything like good, to be honest. It's so off-putting to have so much like currency over there hey lottery got me free level nice having all that currency and like nothing to do with it surprisingly this season probably because i actually grinded has been crazier than my previous seasons hey i'm battle pass level 54 <laughs> dude nice Ah, oh, come on game wait why is it oh whisper activated i was like what the hell's happening so my dude while mining activated berserker's fury arctic destroyer gem merchant and nuke Oh god, oh hey Night Fury, how's it going man? Doing it again? That's cool. And the Wither. So we got like 8, almost, well, le a little under 9 minutes left on this. Probably about not 8 minutes and 30 seconds now. Point is, we got about 8 minutes now. I think that there might be a new bundle coming. I kind of want to wait and see, and I want to get that rather than get the old bundle. Because the new bundle is always going to be better than the, uh, you know, previous one. Plus, they'll be adding a new crate with the bundle, which will be even more overpowered than the previous one, so I kind of want to wait for that, but I don't know if they're going to get to that now, or if it's going to be later, or how long they're going to take, but I guess we'll be mining for a bit and just kind of waiting for it. I should probably also just check my keys, try and get, like, drills and stuff so I can prestige even more, but I kind of can't be bothered. I mean, maybe I will. All right, well, that actually wasn't that bad. Um, but now I have 57 more contraband crates to open later. Cool, so we should be getting the battle pass here in a second. Uh, we use $10 out of our gift card, but we can get another $10 from the battle pass, which I will use, uh, with my other bit of my gift card to get a mad amount of things here soon. Oh my god, it is insane how much contraband they give you. I feel like a lot of what I'm getting is not going to be too useful from these, but maybe the ultimate contraband will give me something useful. Maybe I'll get that lucky, like, $20 store coupon thing or whatever. And now for ultimate contraband, which is better, which actually I did just remember something I didn't check, though, is my keys. I have 14 rank keys. It's not really a rank I can get that I, you know, don't already have, but so cool. All right, our last bit of ultimate contraband. We basically only got, like, robots from that. That's actually kind of sad. More beautiful things! So many beautiful things in here! Oh my god, it's so beautiful! So we got two battle crates, we've got some contraband, some loot crates, which are just loot crates, more robot generators! And I think I also got more rank keys, which I'll open here in a second. I'm gonna see what I get from the battle crates, which is like a souped up ultimate contraband, basically. Mythical and seasonal keys. Well, I guess we'll go back to mining. I kind of want to wait a little bit and see if they end up doing a, um, a new bundle or not. I, I don't really know. The bundle's apparently in an hour. I'm probably just going to record it separately, uh, in my free time, either later tonight or tomorrow. And I will do the opening, which you'll see 
right now. So, like I said, I'm gonna be doing a massive opening, but I do have some information. Apparently, this is the last week of Akuma MC. Unfortunately, it's gonna be ending this Thursday, and new season is going to be Saturday. I did just pick up the newest bundle that is on the store, which you can see everything that it gives. I can't actually see all of the crates. I think it's Aurora Crate, Voltage Crate, Nebula Crate, Star of the World Crate, and Phoenix Crate. This time, you can pick the Christmas or the Halloween as well and some of the others. I'm probably not going to open up the Contraband or Ultimate Contraband. I also got one bundle so far, which was $20, because I wanted to try my luck at this Christmas V-Kit shard. We'll do Start of the World, and we'll do Voltage together, and then I'll do these two together, and the brand new Nebula Crate afterwards, which can give some insane things. Token booster and rank keys. That's actually a little disappointing. This is kind of the main thing I'm excited for, is this beautiful Christmas shard. I'm hoping I can unlock it today. I have attempted so many times, and I'm very tempted to just buy the bundles just so I can straight up pick a Christmas shard up and attempt- <gasps> We got a Halloween one! Ooh, okay, okay. So I'm gonna attempt the Halloween first, and then we'll go with the Christmas one. I also just realized I don't have any sounds on. I've only opened, I think, one of these. Ah, uh, one time use. But that does give us a Nebula crate, so that's actually another good one that would be, I guess, good to unlock. And now for our first attempt today at the Christmas V-Kit Shard. And like I said, I will, I think, be buying bundles until I can unlock this today. One time use, okay. And from our Nebula crate, we got a Nebula- two Nebula crates! Ooh, okay! I'm sorry, 70 robot generators, man, they- give some insane things at the end of the season. It's a shame that I am done for this season, but also with the tokens that I just got, I can max out literally all of my enchants. All of my enchants are, are maxed out. For some reason, the purchases are taking a while, so this will be the last one I do for today. I will, however, be getting the around to some more crate openings, just probably gonna have to do it in a separate recording, so if anything seems a little bit weird, that's why. A skill reset blast, that's, I mean, I've never gotten one, but kind of an L. Uh, nothing really too insane from that, to be honest. That was kind of a little bit disappointing. Like I said, there's more openings. I'm gonna go and open up this Christmas shard. Holy wow, I can't speak. And see if we can unlock it forever. And if not, I will be getting more bundles in the future. Seriously, cannot with these freaking shards, man. So it is the next day, and we've got some more crates to open here today. I just now realized I don't have my sounds on again. I think I've just been shoving everything in PP10 that's not really that good. I do have another V-Kit Christmas shard, and I totally forgot, because this bundle comes with $5, I've got now $39 that I can also spend. Here we go, attempt number four, no, three in, three in this video? Three in this video. There is no way I've opened up- Oh. Whoa, I need to figure out what I'm doing with these, because, oh my god. Attempt number four, five? I don't even know. One, no, I thought I'd already stopped. Finally! And for the V-Kid Halloween, let's see, can we get the unlock instantly? I think I've only unlocked or opened one of these. You know what, that checks out. I kind of figured I wouldn't. Uh, you know, get it. And I just got another V- Dude, I- I- I can't. I can't. I can't with these. I said that I wasn't gonna do that giveaway, um, and I'm still gonna do that, and I'm just gonna do it as a Spitfire giveaway. You have until, honestly, Wednesday. Wednesday, I'm gonna be announcing the giveaway. All you have to do is comment, I want it, in the comments down below, and you could have a chance to win one of these V-Kit shards. Whatever I have left in this PV is gonna be given away. I will pick however many winners for however many shards I get, Everyone could be a winner. So I went ahead and spent the last bit of the money that I had on 13 of these brand new crates. I probably could have squeezed out a little bit more. Uh, actually I can because I just got a $20 gift card, which is actually insane. We now have one more Halloween and three total Christmas V-Kits to give away. And I'm oh, sorry, no, no, sorry, not the Halloween. I totally forgot. Um, I didn't get the bundle because I wanted to attempt to get a, a, a Halloween kit. I was hoping to get another big bundle of, uh... V kits, I'm gonna attempt this again. Every other V kit that is in that PV is being given away. Come on. Dude, that's so awesome! We have everyone except for the Valentine's Day V kit and the vote V kit, which the vote one I can only get by voting. This one, I think he said, uh, I think Mead said that this would never come back. But like I said, I do still have 20 more dollars. I might as well go ahead and spend it. Actually, better yet, I do this normally. I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna throw it in the video. It probably might have already passed, but if it hasn't, 
someone can claim this $20 store coupon and pick themselves up something else on the package on top of giving away seven shards here, seven shards, all, all seven. Guys, if you want a chance at seven, well, maybe not seven, I'm probably going to pick one winner per person or something, depending on how many people actually win. The way I'm going to do it, I'm going to spin a winner, I'm going to spin a wheel that'll pick which shard you actually get. And I'll keep doing that until I run out of people or run out of shards or both. Hope you guys did enjoy this video and I will see you next season.